Chapman. Thanks for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer. And I'm Sherry Jones. The governor signed the state's largest budget ever outside of Detroit today, and it comes with a laundry list of investments. Josh Sanchez crunched the numbers and joins us now with a breakdown and reaction from both sides. Josh? Chair Siobhan, millions of dollars are earmarked for both state initiatives and local projects. Now, while Democratic leaders champion the budget, many Republicans say it's riddled with misguided spending. This budget will lower costs. It will deliver on the issues that make a real difference in people's lives and will help everyone and anyone make it here in Michigan. Make it in Michigan is the name Governor Gretchen Whitmer is pinning on the next fiscal year budget. The more than $81 billion plan spends heavy on infrastructure upgrades, mainly on clean energy and technology investments. $416 million will go towards road repairs and $8 million to replace or fix more than 20 bridges in need of the help. More than $282 million is mixed in policing reforms, incentives, and training. That includes $9 million for more state troopers. The budget also allocates more than $300 million for health care, with $150 million of that upping reimbursement for Medicaid services, and $50 million for affordable housing needs. As a budget Democratic State Senator Sarah Anthony says reflects the need of Michiganders. She calls it the people's budget. The challenges are still very great, and one budget is not going to be able to do it all. But I am hopeful that the investments we've made today will spark conversations. But many Republicans are not sold on the deal, including House Republican leader Matt Hall. He says Democrats chose the partisan path to pick winners and losers, rewarding their political allies with pork projects and unsustainable programs. The deal smells rotten for fellow state Republican Andrew Beeler. He says the proposal for $1 billion for roads was rejected compared to other line items that made the cut. $9 million on pools and splash pads across the state. We've got 1,000 new bureaucrats added to the state government. Uh, $2 million for a population panel uh, to try to figure out why people are leaving the state. People are leaving the state because of budgets like this. Now, today's budget is following a $24.3 billion school budget. That budget outlines funds going towards $160 million in free breakfast and lunch for students, as well as tutoring and mental health services. Sherry, Siobhan. Josh, thank you. The